All right. Hi, everybody. All right, so welcome back. Um, I wanted to go over a couple of things about the new Sketchbook Pro that was uh, just released a few days ago. If you've been using Sketchbook, uh, any of the free versions or free free versions, um, the, most of this will look familiar or similar. Um, the UI for the most part is about the same. Um, there's some added goodies and added tools from the free free version. Um, if you happen to have the other one that was downloaded directly from Autodesk, this for the most part looks the same. Okay, But they did add some new goodies. Basically Sketchbook broke away from Autodesk and they are their own company now, which is a good thing because now they can devote their time solely to Sketchbook, which means a lot more updates, a lot more goodies, um, and it's reasonably priced. So um, anywho, let's get right into it. Um, so hopefully this helps you guys out. So again, for the most part, this is all uh, very similar and familiar. You have your, your brush uh, menu over here, usually always to the left. You got your toolbar, main toolbar up top, your undo, redo, magnifier, zoom, your select, deselect, crop, uh, quick transform, transformer, your you know move tool, um, your flood fill, your type text option, your rulers or guides, your perspective guides, your symmetry, your steady stroke to avoid wobbly lines, your predictive stroke to kind of quickly draw shapes, it'll predict the shape, your shape tools, of course your layers, your brush palette and your color palette. Okay, and of course you have your layers over here and then you have this right here that's not supposed to be there my copic library that's supposed to be gone so apparently the rights in the agreement were with autodesk for the copic uh marker library and not with sketchbook so when sketchbook broke away they didn't take those rights with them so that's not supposed to be there i assume it's because i had another version that had that available and it just carried over i don't know so I'm not going to click that option for sure, because if I click that X, there's no way to get it back. The option to bring that back was up here. It's not there anymore. So this is there. I'm going to leave it until I guess they, they create an update and a fix for that. Um, all right. So a couple things. Let's go up here to file. So up here, Right here, if you're interested in dabbling in animation and 2D animation, hand-drawn animation, this is where you'll find your flipbook. This is where you can create a timeline using your, your drawings in your layers to create an animation. So flipbook, that's where that's at. Your open, save, add image. So if you need to bring in a photograph or uh, an existing drawing from a sketchbook and then you're going to paint on top of it in, in the app, um, you would do it there. You can also do it over here. Uh, in the layers menu and of course page setup print all that good stuff edit undo redo copy paste all that preferences this is helpful here you can kind of set up certain preferences for the software according to your liking um, and yeah pretty basic stuff you know you can set up certain options for your brush um, canvases um, brush here this is a big one right here brush outline I like to always display brush outline because that basically means I get to see what size my brush is because um, if that's off you know my brush just looks like that like a little cursor but if I go back and turn that on brush always on uh, then Now I get to see what size my brush is. Okay. To me, that makes a difference. You know. So anyway, there's that option. Um, of course, you can also mess with your canvas uh, settings. Hotkeys. These are important. These are good shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. It would definitely help to learn some of these. Um, I'll talk about a few uh, basic ones that I use a lot. Um, but yeah, these are shortcuts to, to learn. Just kind of helps speed up your process. Lagoon. That's this thing over here, that's this area. You can set up your, your preferences as far as what will be displayed for you. These are basically shortcuts for you. So if you feel like these aren't, you know, you don't use these enough and you'd rather have some other ones, you can go through and set that up to your liking, okay? Um, 
I'll talk about the lagoon right now. And then we have image. This one's a big one, image size. So before we were limited to 72 DPI or PPI, uh, dots per inch or pixels per inch. That's low resolution. That's like web-based stuff, um, you know, photographs, uh, you know, off of a camera, uh, sorry, a camera off of your phone, uh, that type of thing. If you're gonna print something though, you wanna have that at, at at least 300, at least 300. That way it's nice high resolution. That's a lot of information per inch, um, a lot of pixels per inch. That way there's more information and it looks a lot crisper, a lot more high resolution image. Okay. Um, canvas size, of course you can adjust the overall canvas size as well. Increase it or decrease it. <coughs> uh, crop, adjust, here you'll find your brightness contrast, hue saturation, color balance, um, you know, grayscale. I can take that layer right there and just grayscale it. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, I can also invert it, so it'll invert colors. Okay, also looks kind of cool. All right, and then of course um, you have your rotate, mirror, symmetry options. Um, here you just your your windows. It tells you what windows are open. If it's check marked, it's open. If it's not check marked, it's currently off. Okay, and of course your help menu. Um, all right, and of course again down here your lagoon. You have shortcuts to undo, redo, you have files, you have edit options. So if I hold that down, it's gonna give me some common edit tools. Hold that down, some uh, some common colors, some common uh, brushes, and some common tools up here as well, okay? All right, and of course you can always shut that off. So if you hold that down over here, you know, you can Turn off certain features, you know, turn that off completely. If you don't use it, don't like it. You know, you can set this up on the right side instead. All right. Up to you. All right. I'm I'm lefty, so I'll probably keep it on the left side. Alright, that's the lagoon. Let me bring back my menu. Okay. So um got that, got that. Of course, you still have your, your brush puck, your color puck, your shortcuts to editing your color or your, your brush, uh, opacity, size, you know, values, all that. And layers. So here in layers, we've got some goodies. Of course, you still have your add layer option, but here, your folder right here, this is for grouping. This helps keep your files, your, your layers organized. Before, we didn't have access to groups and, and, and folders. So it was just this endless, you know, however many layers you had in your artwork, you just have to scroll through the entire thing, right? Um, now I can take, let's say, these three right here. I'm going to hold that, press shift, grab that one, press shift, grab that one. Or I can click that one, hold down shift, select all three at once. Go over here, group layers, throws them into a group. I can close that. And it just keeps things more organized. And I can rename that group to, you know, whatever it is I need. And uh, I can open it up so I can see them. I can color this, you know. So that group will all be purple. Again, visually, it just helps keep things organized so you're more efficient with your time. Okay. All right. Um, cool. Last thing, some shortcuts. Some common shortcuts that I use for sure. So I'm gonna take a brush here and let me create a new layer. Um, so brush size. Shortcuts there are your open and close brackets, which are right next to your letter P, um, to the right of your letter P. So open and close brackets, I can quickly increase my brush size or decrease it. Okay. Makes that more efficient. Of course, I still use Alt to color pick on the go, right? And then spacebar. Here I have a touch screen, so I can zoom in and rotate and do all that good stuff on the touch screen. But if you don't have a touch screen, you just use your spacebar and you have this right here. So you just click on the magnifier, zoom in, click on that outer ring of arrows to move about the canvas. 
And then of course you have your rotate option right here. So if you're trying to draw a specific and then see you on the next one. Thanks, say bye.